Hello and welcome to a new video on the road to glory. So uh, it's Monday and it's time for our squad battle awards plus our saved packs that we have uh, saved over the weekend, uh, which is going to be quite a lot. Also our pre-order packs, stuff like that. So let's start uh, by claiming squad battles uh, once again. Due to unforeseen circumstances, we're going to get another elite one. Uh, what a weekend it was. So um, I'm going to talk through what uh, has been happening. Uh, while we open these um, packs, we get another two rare mega and 30,000 coins, which is uh, fantastic. We go to 150,000, uh, but we have a lot of uh, coins invested. So um, let's go here. We have 20 uh, packs. So let's start opening these packs and see if we can hit uh, anything good. So EA came out on uh, Friday with um, the announcement about uh, division rivals and uh, what an announcement uh, that was. I mean, uh, that probably is the stupidest thing EA could have done. I don't know what's the logic behind it. I mean, some people say it's the logic of uh, people not sweating um, the division rivals, but I don't think that's a step in the right direction to do that because people do want to have a chance of going for the best rewards possible. Uh, we get nothing again. I don't know why EA would have thought that um, everybody would just go play their 30 games in Weekend League and uh, don't care about the points that they would get in Rivals. Uh, I think it was going to work the other way, which I think it did. Uh, if you're going to go through the uh, division, the weekly division points, you're going to see where rank one is in almost every um, uh, division. Uh, from division one to division 10 i think uh rank one is going to be way above the 12,000 cap that you are going to get if you play through weekend league so as it is if you play all 30 games of weekend league before you play your division rivals you're going to get a maximum of 12,000 points uh which is stupid because like i said um rank one i think in all divisions is going to be somewhere around um 17 to 18,000 points minimum um so with that in mind, uh, I wasn't able to play any Division Rivals anyways because I didn't claim my Division Rival rewards until Friday uh, that I was waiting for the new Team of the Week to also make the video as well. So after that and later on that night, I think EA came out with the announcement. So I only had uh, Saturday, Sunday and Monday to play those games. So Saturday I thought I'm going to play some Division Rivals games and uh, then I'll play my Weekend League. Uh, unfortunately, Saturday, uh, it was a bad day because nothing again. My uh, provider, my internet provider uh, was just, I don't know, was doing maintenance or something like that because I called them up, the line was all screwed up. They just said there was something in the area that they were testing, fixing or whatever. So pretty much all the day through the afternoon, I didn't have any, well, I did have, but it wasn't any internet that I could play. I tried to play two Division Rivals games and I got two disconnects. So. I just left it there uh, and wait for that to be fixed. So it fixed that uh, Saturday late, late, I think it was uh, later at night. So I started playing some Division Rivals games there. I played about 10, I want to say, while we get our first board. And then uh, Sunday, Striker, what is that? Ben Yedder? Yes, come on, Ben Yedder. Come on, our first big pool. Come on, Ben Yedder. I don't know if it's easy tradable. I want to say the pack is untradable, uh, but still, it's a very good pull. This Ben Yetter, even untradable, and it means that I probably will have to maybe redo the team around him. Um, I'll see, but uh, be tradable? No. Oh, come on. Oh, look at that. Uh, but a uh, fantastic card. Uh, again, four star, five star, high, everything looking great, except that low strength and aggression. Other than that, fantastic player. So yeah, I'm pretty happy, even as untradeable, um, I'm pretty happy with this guy. Anyway, so uh, continuing on, uh, on Sunday, I still wanted to play some more games. I calculated where I wanted to play. I wanted to play at least like, I wanted to say 25 games or something like that of Division Rivals to have a chance to get to rank one. So let's start opening these pre-orders. We have uh, 
uh, rare player, attacker, midfielder, defender. So let's start with the general one, which is an 80 plus rare player. So uh, on Sunday, yesterday, I played uh, 15 games of, we get a board, uh, of rivals, not the same. Okay. Uh, Laporte. 87 Laporte. It was a walkout? I didn't even see that. I thought it was a board. Wow. Okay. Oh, well, this pack was well worth it. Of course, it's untradeable, but still, it's a good untradeable uh, tradable high card, uh, 87 rated. I'll take that any time. I also have an untradeable Allison and an untradeable Ben Yedder now, so uh, some good untradeable cards. Um, so I played 15 games to 25. I finished late Sunday night around, I want to say, 7, 8 o'clock. Um, obviously, I'm not playing the games continuously, as you realize. Uh, I'm doing some other stuff as well. I don't sit all day playing the game. Uh, and then uh, after 10, 11 o'clock, probably after 11 o'clock at Sunday, I started to play some um, uh, weekend league games, or my first weekend league games. Um, come on. No. Board again. Really nice. Uh, I played five games, uh, actually six games. Manolas. Okay. Wow. These, car these packs are fantastic. Uh, I played some, um, uh, I played five, six games, I'm five and one uh, of Weekend League and uh, today I have 24 games uh, that I have to play, which I probably, obviously I'm not going to play all of them uh, as we open the midfielder pack. Um, I'm going to play somewhere around the, to finish somewhere around gold, another board, no board in the midfielder, come on, 82 parasites. Um, so I'm going to finish somewhere around the gold area. Um, and see how I can manage this, uh, the schedule for next week. I, I, I think EA uh, is going to do something to fix that. I mean, this is not a sustainable thing for everybody to play division rivals just on Thursday and then start your weekend league up Friday or something like that. I don't know. Let's open this uh, 80 rated attacker. These are looking really good, these packs. So hopefully we get something here. No, no board. Um, uh, our investment on the Jonathan David. Obviously, didn't do that well. Um, we don't get a board as well. I watched the whole game. Uh, great performance by Lil, uh, winning 4-0, uh, but um, a poor, uh, maybe, yeah, he didn't play that well, but uh, another thing that I noticed is that he doesn't get uh, the ball uh, that often. Um, and uh, you have Ikone and Bamba there that are fantastic players. We get another board. Uh, when they get the, the ball around the area, um, they're going to shoot. I mean, they're good for that. So anyways, he didn't get a chance. He played all 90 minutes. He didn't get a chance on goal. Uh, maybe one, I think. Uh, he was unlucky in a bit of situations, uh, but he didn't really get a chance to score a goal. So now the card from uh, 22,000 has dropped I think last night it was around uh, 17, 18,000. So um, we lost about 5K there, but I'm still, like I said in the video, I am gonna keep the card um, for at least another week. I think it's a card with really, really high potential if he gets an inform. And I really do believe in this player that as soon as he gets a goal, he's gonna start going off. Uh, also this week, I think there's a potential that maybe Bamba might get a team of the week with one goal and one assist. Uh, so if he does, um, oh, walk out, come on. Come on. Spanish, that's never good. The hair, the hair, all right. 86, wow, what a downgrade <laughs> for David. Um, hopefully it's tradable though, let's see. Come on, something tradable. No tradable again, oh my God. All right. Um, we get a pack, one gold pack, okay. Oh, here come the duplicates. Oof, a lot of duplicates here. So these two should be our uh, squad battle rewards. So let's open these two. So if uh, Jonathan Bamba, or I don't think it's Jonathan, I don't know, Bamba anyways gets a team of the week. Nothing, nothing, not even a board. Uh, if he gets a team of the week, I think um, a Jonathan David card uh, David's uh, card is gonna go up a little bit because of the strong link to Bamba as a striker and Bamba being a left mid. Um, he might get a bit of a boost in that card. 
So there still might be a chance to go up at price a bit, maybe back to where he was. So um, if you have a couple of them, if you don't really need the coins, I wouldn't sell uh, at the moment. I would just keep him for at least another week as we open the other rare mega pack from Squad Battles. Come on, give me a walkout. Come on. Yes, team of the week. Um, or maybe team of the week. Come on, Spanish. Center back. Barcelona. Ugh. All right. Some more fodder, but at least we can sell this guy. So um, some coins. Oh, we get a. We did get a team of the week. All right, so we get Mora, which is probably not worth anything. We get PK. Um, probably these guys not worth anything. We get a nice shadow. We get a Napoli home kit, which is worth some coins. All right. Um, oh, we have the pre-order pack, so let's open these quickly and finish off this video uh, with this. Come on, nothing here. We get a board, though, the pre-order pack, which is nice. Give me something good, Chile. Okay, Arangiz, 83. Paul Lopez and Pepe as well. Is he worth anything? Not really. And the second pre-order pack. Come on, give me a walkout, give me a something nothing here not even a board all oh, duplicates oh my god all right all right so uh this was it with the packs i'm really happy actually uh, with that uh ben yetter uh i got there let's go to the transfers and see what we did manage to put up there i still have a lot of players from last week these are the players that i stole from last week i didn't sell all of them I don't know how I missed Diego Carlos on uh, Friday his opening. I didn't even see him somehow. And he was the best player. I sold him for 50k. Uh, sold these kits. Uh, as you're going to see here are the Jonathan Davids. I actually did go and buy a few more at 17k. Uh, these are high rated cards. I have not sold yet. You're going to see here a few more. So as you can see, I still have the Jonathan Davids. Like I said, I'm not going to sell for at least a week. Uh, this midweek, they have a Europa League game. Um, can't remember against who and then on uh, the weekend they have a very hard game against Leon uh, away and um, I think they, they have a chance there I think they are first in the league right now uh, they are undefeated with five wins and two draws Lil they're playing a very good football and uh, you know if Jonathan David gets a chance to score a goal or something or contribute to that game and Lil wins I think he probably will get an end for it but anyways, this is the team uh, I go through. No, well, not like this. I put uh, Younes here for the strong link. And like I said, I always sub in uh, Rafa here at the start of the game. As you can see, 90 games played, 37 goals, 31 assists. Uh, I also did this Matuidi. Now, I don't recommend doing this guy. I had uh, duplicates, uh, untradeables, and I also went and recovered a couple that I discarded from Friday uh, and completed this guy. He's not going to be getting an inform. The chances are slim to none. Uh, the games are going to be over, I think, by next month for the MLS. And then it's going to be, um, we're going to uh, the playoffs and uh, enter uh, Miami. I think their chances are very, 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 very slim to get on the playoffs. So uh, his games are going to be over in a month. And then the MLS is going to start again in March. So it looks like a dead card. I really don't recommend doing it, but for 15k, the only thing you can do him for is maybe have him if you want to play him in your team or if uh, you expect a wants to watch um, SPC that requires a wants to watch or any other SPC that might require a uh, wants to watch since he's an 83 and a French guy uh, might be a good link in that SPC. Other than that, this SPC is not worth it. So this is going to be it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.